Good morning to you. It must be five o'clock in the a.m. Eastern Standard Time for September the 14th of 2020 because it's time for Hardison's tip. I'm your host, Brandon Hardison. Glad to be with you. We're trying to give you some insights. Whether you are a major account, key account, up and down the street, in home sales, retail, or automotive sales. So you're trying to get ready. So let's get to it for today. Today, I want to drop on to your knowledge a little bit about the art of consultative selling. Now, we're going to look at this in a couple of ways, so it's going to be a couple of parters here. But the art of consultative selling. In other words, how can you enhance yourself, or if you're a manager, your sales team's performance and guarantee ongoing success? Now, the digitalization of sales is increasing the pressure on salespeople to succeed. Everything is being digitalized, everything. More information, buyers, habits, along with their economics, their politics, all of this is being analyzed together and it is presented to the average salesperson. But if they do not know what to do with this information, then it's all for naught. It has been estimated that more than 1 million sales roles will be lost to automation in 2020. I'll say that again. It is estimated that 1 million job roles will be lost to automation by the end of this year. So does this mean that the dawn of the digital revolution will signal the death to the sales profession? No. In truth, the digital revolution is good news for sales. But this unprecedented change does mean value creation is now critical to a sales consultant's success or that manager leading them. Sellers who have mastered client-centered skills, conversation, the art of consultative selling, will find themselves in more demand than ever. True best-in-class sales performance comes from a synthesis of sales and behaviors. In other words, sellers who use both can find valid relationships with clients each and every time, and they do not miss a beat. And that's because they've learned how to evaluate buyers. The intent has enabled consumers, buyers, to be more educated than ever before. They can go on to any smart device and find as much as they want about the product or services that you have. In this case, we're talking about an automobile. A commonly cited statistic is that 57% of the buying journey is completed before they even engaged with you and your organization. So what makes a truly great, successful salesperson in a combination of both the relationship process with the guest and our sales process or our approach to get them to take our product? How sellers approach the seller's process, in their minds, they apply competencies along with the knowledge that is out there or the research that they see on the search engines. It gives them their best chance of getting the best product for the best money value that they have. Now, the customer's experience of a salesperson driven by personal gain will be extremely different than their experience with the salesperson driven by fostering mutual gain. The professional is focused on mutual gain. Why he or she will reach a better long-term 
outcome by both fostering a position of trust, which will mean more follow-up, more referrals, more business, more people telling the story about you, the professional, when they came to do their car buying experience. So with that in mind, a sales professional's core values, their intent, their fundamentals, their personal driven factors should include not only the culture of the store, but how sellers are rewarding and recognizing leading organizations. And that's because of this consultative selling. Now let's go back to the digital. Sales leaders, sales managers can have no negative effect on the organization. If the digitalization is there, driving salespeople to succeed is a results-based reward. Now, could it be short-term? Could it be long-term? That's up to that individual sales consultant and that coach, that middle manager that's leading it. The old adage is, what gets rewards gets done. And if you look at it, what gets rewarded can get done. But do I have a plan? Do I have a goal? Because now if I get rewarded every step of the way as a sales consultant doing my job with the consumer, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to build more trust. I can apply both the art of relationship building and the science of selling. I can execute a flawless buying focused sales process for myself and for my guest. And in the midst of all that, find a mutually beneficial solution, because that's what we're in the solution business for my guest. When you do these things, ladies and gentlemen, now the story is about you. Their friends, their family are going to say, hey, I see you got a new car. And the customer's response is, yeah, but let me tell you about my salesperson. That's where you need to be if you are truly a person that is a consultative selling but it takes time, it takes practice, it takes worth, and it is beneficial for you, the salesperson, to reach your goals and dreams. Once again, Brandon Hardison, President of Champion Strategies, with a little bit of Hardison's tips for today. And as always in parting, you go out and make it a champion.